morning. I'm at the top of Roden Street on the Donegal Road. And there's a lot of history uh, remembered in educational boards on the road here. Um, this bridge that I'm now walking across is the uh, main railway line to Dublin. So I'm just going to show you some of the uh, the notice boards. This this board here is uh, a tribute to <laughs> uh, Marlene who and and uh, George who ran the Donegal Road Post Office. And <laughs> look at this. Well, at number 421, Donegal Road, they were robbed nine times, fired at once, tied up once, and experienced two attempted tiger robberies. In 1976, Marlin started work in the post office here. She became sub postmistress in 1985. She moved to the present location at 309. In the year 2000, George joined her in the year 2001. Isn't this classic? I'm not going to read you all the rest of that, but that's just a wee, a wee tribute. And uh, I wonder is the post office still there at 309? Here we've got the Ulster suffragettes being remembered. Votes for Women, which was not very popular at the time, and there, uh, there's one of them being arrested. Don't mind I've been trained to speak softly and carry a lipstick. Those days are over. <laughs> and don't we know it? Test for whether you should or should not hold a job should not be at the arrangement of your chromosomes. I'd agree with that. <laughs> Women who seek to be equal with men lack ambition. That's a good one. A woman's place is everywhere. And this is Millie. I started work when I was eight, my childhood lost at the, at the factory gate. The flight of the shuttle, noise and dust, the wage of labour not good enough. My life was weaved outside my dreams, days always longer than they seemed. I vowed the day that I was wed, my child would have a childhood. And that's Eliza Hamilton, the Ulster Weaver poet, 1891. And uh, that is testament to all the f the, um, the linen factories uh, and weaving factories that uh, were in and around this area at one time. Most of them gone. And a lot of the boys from this area uh, lost their lives in the First World War. Many of them were killed at Thiepville uh, Wood in 1916 at the Somme. A letter from home from the Somme. Hi, I love you all. I wonder what you're doing at home. I must not do that. It's hard enough sitting waiting. We may move at any minute. When this reaches you, for, uh, for me there will be no more war, only eternal peace and waiting for you. And this is a, a, a tribute to uh, James Joseph McGuinness, VC, uh, from Belfast. And I have done videos on, on uh, James McGuinness before. He is the only person to win a, a VC in the Second World War. Stacks and stacks of boys, well not stacks and stacks, but quite a number. I think there were about 14. Uh, VC winners from Northern Ireland. Well, it wasn't even called Northern Ireland back then. Uh, about 14 different uh, VC winners in the First World War, but only one. You know, Paddy Main wasn't given uh, a, a VC. But this is all about James McGuinness. Oh, 
<laughs> some some upper ritter. Not the the mini sub he was he was in on the um, 1945 July. His unit was sent to destroy the Takua, and and he attached mines to it and all the rest of it. So that's James McGuinness remembered. And this is uh, some of the the children on the Donegal Road. Sweet childish days that were as long as 20 days or an hour. And this is Sam Boyd, 1907 to 1984. The man with poetry in his soul. Bless this city, Lord, we pray. Keep it safe by night and day. Guide our steps all along the way. Safe from bombs and bullets, we pray. Let thy blessings on Ulster rest. May all its people do their best. That in peace we should live. Our help to others be ready to give. Bless the men who work for peace. That all sinners they may reach. With the gospel of redeeming love. Sent to earth from heaven above. Bless our homes and way of life. May this day end all wars and strife. Jesus died that you might. Uh, that you he might save. For the whole world his life he gave. Sam Boyd, South Belfast Port. And there he is. And these are some of the people who uh, who lived down this way. Back in the day. Streets of Dreams. Now they're having a wee party. And there's all the street names, and you might have been brought up in one of these streets. Kilderry Street, Kilberg Street, Kilfin Street, and many, many more. Hill Street, Kitchener Street. It'd be interesting to find out why some of these streets were named. The way they were. Nubia Street. There's Mulkey Street for Ruby Murray. There's one. I'm gonna cross over now. Big Eurospar on the other side of the road. And I'm going to do the other side. And this uh, ward commemorates the Belfast Blitz. And there's a lot of information about that down below. And some fascinating pictures. Look at, look at where that young lad is. Health and safety and all that. Blitz took place on the spring of 1941, 7th of April, and 8th of April, exploratory raid to test the city's defences, which were pretty hopeless. They didn't expect the Germans to arrive here, you know, to go this distance. 13 people uh, killed in the docks area. The next raid was Easter. 15th and 16th, when 150 bombers attacked, resulting in over, over a thousand people being killed and 1,500 injured. Task casualty rate of any air raid outside London over uh, one night or two nights. Final raid 5th of May and 4th of May, 250 bombers attacked the city. They were going for the shipyards. Dropping 230 tons of high explosives and over a hundred thousand incendiary bombs. This raid killed 200 people and set fires raging across the city. And these, this uh, harps back to the uh, Donegal Road history of weaving.
Well, some of these, uh, these children might be your great grandparents or, or something like that, who knows? And the importance of work. Work gives life structure and discipline. And this is uh, a wee tribute to Robert Boyd. <coughs> Served with the R Royal Irish Fusiliers attached to the old Royal Ulster Rifles. Taken prisoner 25th April 1951. Listed as m missing the man as a POW. Released in 1953 in August, uh, that was my birthday, 31st of August. On his return to Belfast, he was given the freedom of the city in recognition of services. And this tells you about the Royal Ulster Rifles in Korea. And again, many of the guys who, who joined up and fought in Korea actually came from this area. And it's, you know, it's basically a forgotten war. And there it is, the forgotten war. Korea. The original site of the Korean Memorial near the village of Hul Midge, overlooking the battlefield of, oh dear, better known to the soldiers as Happy Valley. The memorial was brought back to the Ulster aboard the HMS Belfast in 1962. And it was rededicated and sited at the City Hall, Belfast. And I, I have video with that. I'm nearly sure I have. And this uh, is all about the Titanic. Only 705 survived out of 2,228. Charlotte Collier. I was in Lifeboat 13 I always remembered that my father was waving to us and talking to a clergyman, Reverend Carter. The Titanic went in the ice and I heard three bangs before we had. There had been prolific vibrations from the engines during the night as the ship was really racing over the sea. As the lifeboat pulled away, we heard cries from people left in the Titanic, in the water, and explosions in the ship. There was lots of bodies floating. We were in the lifeboat for nine hours. I kept looking at the water for my father. And when we reached New York, we went to the hospitals to see if he was picked up. She's, uh, she's covered with a white star blanket there. Waiting for story time at the Carnegie Library, and it's still there. It's still there. Down the road. The, this, is, this is the beautiful blues. Fortune favours the brave. And this is their team, 1957. Some of you might remember those faces and names. Winners of the City Cup, County Antrim Shield, and the Gold Cup. And that's, of course, Linfield. Video on this, folks, and a and guy has stopped by this uh, uh, Linfield poster and he's pointing out some of the characters to me. And right, who have we got here at the end, Gary? That's Jackie Milburn. His real name is John Edward Thompson Milburn. Played right. for Newcastle, scored a hat trick on his debut, won three FA Cups, and come to Linfield and in three seasons scored 150 goals, 50 goals a season, and they won everything there was to win in the whole three seasons. My he was As a player manager. I actually found old video footage of um, playing against Belfast Celtic and I think he scored six.
tribute to Tommy Wilson MBA and Rita Hills MBA and there's Rita Hills commemorated and this is the Weaver's Prayer Not till the loom is silent and the shuttle cease to fly shall God unroll the canvas and explain the reasons why. It was hard work, folks. The dark threads are as needful in the weaver's skillful hand as the threads of gold and silver in the pattern he has planned. Written by a female Ulster weaver, 1922. And there's one of the girls. And these are the factory cars. And this girl went on, uh, this anonymous author went on uh, <laughs> a few ladies just the way past her with her doggies I had to move. Uh, the anonymous uh, author of this poem was an Ulster immigrant girl of the 19th century working in a textile mill in Lowell, USA. When I set out for Lowell, some factory for to find, I left my native country and all my friends behind. But now I am in Lowell and summoned by the bell, I think less of the factory than of my native gale. The factory bell begins to ring and we must obey and to our old employment go or else be turned away. Come all ye weary factory girls, I'll have you understand I'm going to leave the factory and return to my native land. And some of them did, but most of them didn't. Remembered on the Donegal Bridge. Railway bridge and there's the train away past.